It's time to tackle all the holidays in Animal Crossing New Horizons. The seasons will greet us with a ton of new items, beautiful foliage, and plenty of special guests. Grab a blanket, get cozy, and enjoy the video. Tonight from 5 p.m. to midnight, we'll be treating you to a Halloween event unlike anything you've ever seen before. So, Isabel is unfortunately not leaving her desk at all for the Halloween festivities, but we will compensate for her by getting tons of candy. Regardless, it's Halloween time, and this is my costume. I look pretty baller. So, there's a lot of things involving Halloween. In case you aren't participating in Halloween before it actually takes place in Animal Crossing. So I started a few minutes before it actually starts. That way I can, you know, catch you up on stuff and show you what's going on. I did encounter Gullivar as well. So I'll unbox whatever this is and take it from there. My name is Brian Saviano Bricks O'Brien, the pirate eye patch. Yar, there we go. So that's cool. I'll wear that for now, I guess. So uh, if you're playing Animal Crossing and you happen to not play every aspect of the game every single day, there's actually uh, a lot of things you can do to, like, you know, catch up on the Halloween festivities before they actually happen, or as they're actually happening. So Timmy and Tommy have a little uh, get-up going on over here, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to buy my candy for the day today, and this is the last one I'll be able to buy, technically. Uh, before Halloween ends and you may say well Brian uh, you don't have a lot of candy you only have 11 bits of candy that's kind of weak sauce by comparison of how much candy you should have if you're participating in Halloween you should have bags upon bags upon bags of candy to give out to your villagers and all that and you would totally be correct uh, KK slider is not here it, or no he appears yes yeah, Saturday so he's not here so whatever so um, I know, but there's actually ways for you to get candy on Halloween and catch up on all the things that you might have missed out on. So, as I explained to you before, every day you can do uh, multiple things to try to find DIY, DIY recipes, uh, which include... Is there any special item? No. Uh, which include, you know, finding them on the shore or talking to some of your villagers who may have them. And I actually uh, do not have all the DIY recipes. That's because I wanted to tell you a little bit more about, uh, you know, how exactly they work. So I have only uh, four, five, six, seven of them, and there's 15 of them. So I'm actually missing quite a substantial amount of them. Luckily, these work just in the same way that they did for Bunny Day. So if you happen to be missing a bunch of them, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. I love this card, the color scheme. It's great. October 31st is Halloween, and we'll be kicking off our festivities at 5 p.m. Sh p.m. sharp. Yes, yes. I hope to see all of you there, and don't forget to bring the candy. So there you go. Uh, in terms of things I found uh, in the Able Sisters shop, there, was, there wasn't really that much. Um, I found a couple of things, uh, like, you know, Kix was selling impish wings, which is cool. I got the white pair of wings. Uh, I also found these impish horns. And then there's also this jester's mask, which is absolutely terrifying. But from what I can tell, there's a zombie outfit in the window here. So maybe uh, I can get the zombie outfit in blue or something like that instead of being a big baby with an eye patch and a frog, a hat. It's kind of very discombobulated in that way. But uh, let's see what else they have here. Uh, that's literally it, okay? And they don't have it in any colors that I actually like. Isn't that awesome? Fantastic. Nothing I can stay on brand with? Nope, not at all. All right, cool. Well, I guess there goes that. Magic Academy hood. But they don't have it in blue? Come on. Or yellow? Come on, really? What a farce. All right. So there's a, a bunch of different things you can get here. I don't really care for any of that. So I guess I'm going to be a, a baby frog baby pirate frog all right whatever there's a lot more items like that but you know throughout the month of october you can find them and get them use them however you want to and, and take it from there so everything looks very orange right now this is kind of like uh peak fall kind of um and it looks really nice so that's good 
As far as I know, there's not going to be any other villagers visiting your island. Um, or special villagers visiting. So, Jack is the special villager for the day. Like, there typically is just one. So, I'll, uh, I'll show you what this area looked like. Um, I did time travel. It is currently September 30th at me recording this, so... It is not Halloween. But, you see all the different pumpkins over here. And, a uh, fun fact for you... That I, uh, forgot to mention last time. So, if I pick this pumpkin right here, right? And I dig up, like... Not maybe not that spot right there. Let's say I dig up, you know, this spot. Nope, not that one, Brian. The one right behind here, which is clearly a orange uh, pumpkin spot. If I plant one of those pumpkins right there, then that's gonna turn into a white pumpkin start, as you can see right there. So you can really customize whatever pumpkin you want to be wherever you want it to be. Um, I'm not going to use a lot of the customization options, at least on camera. I'm probably going to get a lot of them off camera. And I'm going to show you each of the different Halloween items in, in the next few episodes anyways. So right now it is uh, 4.53. So to kill some time before Halloween actually starts, I might as well uh, check up on everything going on around here. Give you the update on the haunt as it is. Or... Should I say, na haunt? Get it? Spooky? Haunted? Yeah. Anyways, you just got that joke, whether you wanted it or not. Boom. Um, I don't know what to do with this area of flowers over here, man. It's just kind of here. So, I tried crossbreeding and whatever. It's, it's going, I guess. Uh, I managed to do, like, a, a theme for, like, each of the different, like, streets in the town. So, this is supposed to be, like, a... Uh, red, pink, and purple sort of vibe going on all throughout here, including the different fruit that are around here. Obviously not having uh, flowers on the roadways here. Over here is like an orange and uh, yellow sort of golden area. And I wanted to do for the lower area, well I'll show you all this here. Because um, it's like this entire section, even down to the bushes. So that's pretty cool. Other than the white hyacinth over there. Um, this section I wanted to make, uh, I don't know what color, uh, maybe blue, because blue isn't that common of a color, uh, other than, like, those, uh, pansies right there, you know, these are, would kind of fall under blue, so would purple, so I don't know what I want to necessarily do, but I clearly have plenty of blue hyacinths to work with, so, not afraid to use those. So, I've yet to customize that, I'll probably do that eventually, <laughs> I don't know. I still don't know how I'm going to divvy up these um, seasons of Animal Crossing because I would normally upload a bunch of these videos at one time and then show you all that. But does uh, Thanksgiving technically fall in fall or is it more so uh, Christmas time? It, it might be closer to like the end of the year stuff compared to uh, Halloween time. So, and especially considering Thanksgiving is technically from this point right now two months away. That's a, a long time. I, I don't know if they did something with the um, the spawn rates of, like, uh, different things in the game. Because I've been getting a lot of different DIY recipes from the, sh the bottles that are actually not awful. So I don't know if they changed that to make it so you actually get items that are good. Instead of getting a bunch of repeats every single time. But if that is changed, it's a very welcome one. So that's good. Uh, in terms of the craftable items I have, though, before I dive into Halloween proper, uh, there's only w uh, two that I have not made as of right now, so I might as well grab those in here and make them. Uh, I'm going to showcase them outside, and it's going to be dark outside, so it's going to look really good, and they do glow in the dark, so it makes it even, even better in that way. So I need a bunch of these orange pumpkins. I think you need 88 pumpkins in order to make at least one of everything, which clearly I have. And between the uh, uh, customization options, I should be good as well. I, um, I tried setting up a Halloween area up top in my uh, attic. I don't know if that'll actually work, but whatever. I'm going to play stuff outside and maybe show you afterward how all that works but i'll also show you the uh the jack poster that i got in the mail which is similar to kk slider and this one's really cool 
because it actually glows in the dark. So if I... Nope, don't do that right there. Well, you can see it right there. Uh, if I turn off these lights here, these are technically off right now. But it also kind of shimmers a little bit. So it's not just a constant glow. It'll like dim and go back up. It's really cool. So I'll show you a bit more when it's actually dark outside. Um, also off camera, something I found that I really, really like is a pinball machine I've been waiting to find for a long time. None of you out there helped me on the internet. Very disappointed in all of you. It's this one over here. Uh, this is a definitely not Luigi's Mansion inspired uh, pinball machine. So that is definitely super spooky vibes right here. I love this pinball machine so much. And it, I wish I had this in real life. I've been like debating on getting one of those like uh, home arcade machines. And pinball is very, it's a very expensive thing. Like, if you try to get your own pinball machine, it costs a lot of money. And a lot of money in maintenance, too. But, like, the home arcade machines are, you know, they're not cheap. They're, like, 500 bucks, but they're really cool. So, I'm like, huh. I've, de I've debated on getting one for a while. And I'd probably cover it in a video, but... Also, like, how often would I actually use it? Like, probably not that often. So it's like, do I want to spend money on something like that willy-nilly? You know? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I still haven't spent my, uh, stimulus check. So who, who knows if that's where, uh, that'll fall eventually. Uh, let me customize this area a little bit here. Or maybe over here? I don't know where I should put that jack-o'-lantern light. Uh, maybe like no not on that side not on that side um I'll do it you know I'll get rid of this yeah I'll get rid of that one I'm gonna put this right here yeah there we go nice so that's just on the ground right there turn it on or off if you want to and eventually I'll show you all the different customization options too so it's just what a minute until Halloween starts oh boy spooky chair you can go right here how about that? Bam. You can see that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't need any more pumpkins. I have all of the uh, uh, candy right here. There's, uh, yeah. Just wait a minute, literally a minute, and it'll be, uh, it'll be good. So I hope your day is going well. Uh, my day was very lackluster. Um... I, I explained in a different video. I forget what it was. Minecraft. How I got, like, a bunch of munchkins accidentally at the Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru. I meant to get, like, four, and I got 25 by accident. Total accident. And uh, I still haven't recovered. That was, like, two days ago. So, yeah. Anyways, it's Halloween. Hello, everyone. The Halloween event is now underway. Oh, there we go. Now is when it gets all spooky. And to kind of fit the vibe more, I'm going to skip ahead two hours because it's way too, like, bright outside. I want it to be dark and spooky and scary. In real life, at 5 o'clock on Halloween, it's, it, it's not light outside. Not in New England. That's much better. So now you can see it's all spooky and the jack-o'-lanterns are lit up. It's got, like, this purple hue over everything. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. And that spicy Halloween music. Ooh, it's feeling nice. Jack. Hey, man. I love Jack so much. I love the character design. I love all of it. Oh, <laughs> oh, I am Jack, the reigning czar of Halloween. This is a night for frights and delights, which comes but once a year. What a thrill it's been to see this day draw near. Now the hour has come and it's an accomplice I seek. Tell me, Pumpkin, do you fit the bill? Of course I fit the bill. Why wouldn't I? You want to fetch me candy? Uh, trick or treat. Give me that candy. Uh, so if you have your candy stacked up in your pocket, it only takes one at a time. Don't worry. Time to treat myself. <laughs> so scarily scrumptious and now the reward I promised. Uh, you get Jack's face, which is a helm you can wear which is pretty cool uh and the other type of candy because there's not different uh colors of candy or anything like that there's also lollipops lollipops give you uh different items from jack as well they are not able to be purchased they're able to be acquired from villagers 
So if you don't give me some candy, you'll regret it, pumpkin. And you also learn a brand new uh, expression as well. So that's a new reaction that you get in the game there. It's pretty awesome. I'm just going to show you myself up here. Ooh, you get the spooky, the super duper spooky uh, reaction there. The haunt reaction, if you will. So if I use that, I should probably equip that. I love that, uh, that one there. So the one that I don't like or use too often is that. So I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to show you this. You know, that like that. That looks pretty good. Um, all right, so let's find some villagers, and let's get to haunting, shall we? And I'll show you what uh, what happens from here. Hey, Pudge. Nice night, huh? Especially because it's finally time. Halloween's here. Nice. Speaking of which, a uh, uh, trick or treat. Give me some candy, or I'll play a dirty trick on you. So if you give him candy... We'll see what actually happens here. Uh, a couple of things happen during Halloween. So the villagers can give you uh, DIY recipes or items as well. There's a spooky table setting. So that is the actual item for it. But we're looking for the DIY so we can make as many as we want to, as well as um, uh, different colors as well. So that's the scare reaction as well. Once you interact with a villager, you get the raw scary reaction there. So... What I'm also going to do, real quick, is I'm going to take off this frog hat, real quick. That looks very weird. I don't like this baby outfit. Can I change this baby? I don't, I don't want to be a baby. I, I had nothing else, okay? I was very, like, caught up in, like, what to wear. And now I don't have any pants. That just makes me feel uncomfortable. Can I put some pants on? What are, what are these pants? Uh, sweatpants? Yeah, sure. That's my typical garb. Yeah, there we go. That looks a bit better. All right, cool. So, all the villagers should be out. Keyword should be. Egbert, hello, sir. Uh, you're dressed like kind of like a Jedi, in a way. Um, so, let's see if I do do your worst. Oh, come on. I wanted that candy for real. You asked for it. Take the treat. Then, whoo, you get a different design for your face and skin tone as well. And then, here's a wooden table mirror. What? That's weird. Um, and you just, like, go into your pockets and, I don't know, whatever. So I'm a zombie now, so that's cool. Um, so if you want to change your, uh, outfit unwillingly, you can do that. So that, I mean, it's pretty cool that you, they can, like, change you up. And they also add different face paint and whatnot, too. So I do want to see that eventually. Boingo, bo buongiorno. Oh, have I not seen you in a while? Trick or treat. Give me a piece of candy. All right, so I'm going to give him some candy. And what I'm hoping for is to get a lollipop in return. That way I can give it to Jack and show you exactly what that is. And then we get uh, Spooky Garland. Okay, so that's the item. I'm looking for the, the actual recipe here. Okay, so there was somebody who just spawned in over here that I saw. Or they were kind of perusing around here, right? Yeah, there you go. Dobby! Got a werewolf out here. Oh, jeez. All right. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm so glad we got caught up. Trick or treat, kiddo. Okay, cool. Why don't you take one of these real quick? Uh, I only have eight candy. And you may say, well, how do you get more candy if you run out? And a spooky rug? Okay, so the rug, that's good. The rug is not craftable. So that rug actually works out pretty well. We can use that in our house. And there are no customization options for it either. So, somebody's inside on Halloween. That's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, probably somebody crafting a DIY or something. Everyone should be kind of out. Or do you still trick-or-treat? Sorry, but you got to try harder. Today is Halloween. You got to get in the spirit and act real scary. What? Oh, he's going to go out later. Okay, so they kind of take shifts in a way. They don't all necessarily go out at once. Okay. Makes sense. But you can still get everything you need from the villagers just by talking to them here. Violet, hello. Well, hello. I take it you're done with the silent treatment. I know it's been a while. I'm time traveling. All right, give me a second here. Uh, trick or treat. What's going on? 